So this is the uh, washing machine stator that I'm going to rewire. It's out of an LG smart drive. It is a 36 pole stator with 0.6mm wiring. Take note that the out is on the left and the first three coils are joined together on the right. Now I found this uh, on the backshed.com which is from the Fisher and Paykel washing machines and it seems to be in reverse to how this is because you'll see the, co the coils joined together on the left and then the power out is on the right but as this one shows that's the opposite so what I did I flipped the image of that just to check I wasn't being stupid and that actually looks the same as the one I've got so then I decided I wanted to wire it in the 4x3C configuration and that's that is what I'm going to do and we'll be referring to this while we're doing it. So here's one I rewired earlier and it's not soldered together yet but it's been on the rotors and tested and it delivered what I thought it was going to so that's good and uh, now we're just going to do the other one. So if we look at the diagram here how I'm going to wire it we can see that 1, 2 and 3 are already joined together here so we don't need to touch those at all. What we need to do is we need to go around to here, coils seven, eight, and nine. The left-hand side of the coil needs to be brought into the middle so that they can be connected to the wires going all the way around. So that's what we've got to do. Coil seven, eight, and nine, take the left-hand side and cut it. So I'm just gonna show you a close-up of the wires. We've got to cut this one here the left of coil 7, the left of coil 8 and the left of coil 9 so we have to cut those three. Now when you're cutting the wires just take your time don't rush anything because twice earlier I cut the wrong ones and then it's just extra work having to solder them back together. One thing I do want to say now, might save you a lot of hassle, is that these plastic things, if they are in your way in any way whatsoever, just get a pair of pliers and break them off. In fact, I think I'll do that for the whole thing. Right, that's got all those annoying bits of plastic out of the way and uh, that will make life a little bit easier because you're not having to fiddle the wires around them. So we've got the left side of coil 7 and 8 and now we need to get 9 which is a bit more difficult because it's in there. So use one of these blades and hook it round. Just going to move that wire out of the way. That's another advantage of cutting them. So there we can see we've got the left side of seven, eight, and nine. And now I'm going to clean them up. Now I found something else quite early on that can be very handy and that's a hacksaw blade because these wires here have to go behind here to then join onto the ring of wires in the middle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up put the miss out there what I'm doing is I'm using the hacksaw blade to create a very small channel for the wires to go over into the middle Right, we want to ideally, if we're doing the business properly, we want to bring this wire round underneath here. So 
So now that one's through there nice and tidy. And do the same to the others. one which is the left hand side of number nine it's really awkward trying to do this with the camera So we'll, we'll uh, join them in the end, but first we'll get all the wires where we want them, and then we'll get the big bits of wire out. Bigger boys! So, that's those three dealt with. Now, we refer back to the drawing. So, coils one, two and three, they're already dealt with. Coil 789, we've taken the left hand side of them out into the centre where, where they'll join in the circuit. Now the next thing we need to do is to join the right hand sides of 10, 11 and 12. Okay, that's what we've got to do. So the right hand side, there's 10. Get the knife again. So there's the right hand side of 10, there's the right hand side of 11, which is there you can see, and this is the right hand side of 12, which conveniently were already cut. So now we need to join those three together. So again, I'll spare you the board and watch me clean them, and I'll just show you how I wind them up and then tuck them behind there. So now they're cleaned, they can be joined together. So I'm just checking my diagram again. That's the right hand side of 10, 11, 12. Yep, 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 very good. Be very gentle with this wire. Right, so now, I have sort of it in the wrong place, so let me do it in the right place. That should fit through there. Alrighty. So there, that's how we do that. So now, our focus turns to 16, 17 and 18. And what we need to do is the left hand side of those three need to be brought into the middle like we did before. So that's the left hand side of 16, 17 and 18. So right, we need the left hand leg of number 16 which is here try and cut it in the middle right number 17 where's that bad boy That's the left hand side of 16, 17, and 18. And they're going to need to bought through into the middle like those three. So now those three. Sorry to keep going on, but the left hand side of 16, 17 and 18, they need cleaning up and stripping off. It's okay to use a real gentle bit of flame, but don't go too heavy. 
So they're all cleaned off and ready to go through those gaps. And we'll be joining those at the end, remember, so don't panic now. You can see we've got two sets of wires on the inside which are going to join that ring and then we've got those ones which are joined together. So when we look at the diagram, we've, we've just done these, 16, 17 and 18. So now we're going to, we should be left with the right hand side wires from 19, 20 and 21 which we're going to join together. So there's the one from the right hand of 19. There's the one from 20. Jolly good. Made a cock up earlier and uh, cut that one by accident. So 19, 20, 21, right hand sides. Sorry to keep going on about left and right hand sides, but it's important to rub into your head, then you won't mess up. So these need cleaning up and joining together. So we can see they're lovely and they're sparkling now. Firstly, I'm going to cut a hole here to allow the wires to go through. There you go. No messing, and that's 19, 20, and 21. Dealt with, so now we come round to 25, 26 and 27. And what we need to do here is we need to take the left hand sides of each coil. This one here, 25, 26 and 27, all right. 25, nice and easy, it's right at the top. That's 25, move that out of the way. Uh, 26, it's in the middle. It's 26, move that one out of the way. And now 27, just checking the diagram. 27. So now again, 25, 26 and 27, they will be taken over into the middle, so I just need to clean them up. Now these need to just go over into the middle where they will be joining the ring of fire. That date is very soon to be determined date. Right, now you know what's coming here. Home stretch. So we've just done that. So we've joined 25, 26, and 27 to the inner ring. Now we need to join 28, 29, and 30 together, the right hand sides. So the right hand side of 28 is already there, 29 is already there. 30 is already there. So same old drill I'm afraid they need uh, cleaning up. So now what we have to do 34, 35 and 36 which are already here so we'll just bust these open gently So they need 
to be taken into the middle. I'm just going to bust this thing off. Don't need it anymore. Sorry, my friend, your surplus two requirements. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Ooh, a bit of metal. Remember not to hack through the other wires. So that will have to be cleaned. But that can go there for now. should be left with we'll start here that's one set of wires the second set the third set and the fourth set they've all got to be connected to each other and that's the next part of the video